Hello? Yes? So today you spoke for only two hours. Eh, it was a wrong number. Just keep on talking, cause we have free night calls and reduced night call prices to other networks. Kasapa, the power of zero two eight. This video is a story of a Canadian startup which had the potential, but the potential did not reach the actualization stage. How do you start a revolution and end up being the loser in the profits part of the revolution? How do you fall even though you have a superior technology than your competitors? Life is full of choices. Junk food or healthy food? Traditional or Western? Mm-hmm. Or mm-hmm. And of course there's cassava or Hmm. Let's see. Casapes chips and credits never expire. Dash pays you for talking, half price weekends, free night calls, and reduce night call prices to other networks. All this means you get more talk for your money than anywhere else. All that and great Casapa call quality. Now, where were we? When it comes to mobile service, there's only one clear choice: the network that sounds like Ghana. Casapa Digital. Affordable, reliable. Welcome to Buklong. This episode is about Kasapa. Kasapa Network started as Celtel. In 1993, Celtel Limited was licensed to provide telecommunication services. The brand name Celtel later became Kasapa and then Espresso. So what happened to Kasapa? Where did it go and how did it end? Or oh, it's still around. For us to understand the story and have a clear picture, let's look at the beginnings of the telecommunication industry in Ghana. The first cellular phone service in Ghana was initiated by Mobitel in 1992. And in that year alone, 19,000 Ghanaians owned mobile phones. And in 1998, the number of mobile phone users in the country increased 43,000. And by the middle of 1999 the number increased to 68,000. Around 1999 and 2000, four communication companies were computing for cellular customers. The usage rose from 22,000 to 132,000 subscribers. One of the companies is Kasapa. Kasapa was founded by Mr. Kofi Kluge in 1993. Kluge is one of the pioneers of the Ghanaian technology space. In fact, he is one of the godfathers. They created most of the policies, the bylaws, and even the Ghana Stock Exchange, which was supposed to be one of the exit points for the startups. Because when you create a startup, it's supposed to have an exit. You create, you go public, people invest and you make money. So they had to create the Ghana Stock Exchange. They created some of these things before they were officially created by the government. So they had their own form of NCA before NCA was officially formed. Uh, and the, then the beginning. So in this process, there was a need for a regulatory body, you know, to form two regulatory bodies. One is the regulatory, which the FCC in the US called Federal Community Commission. Mm -hmm. So we began the journey how to form, you know, a regulatory body. Mm -hmm which is now called NCA. Yeah. And he was even part of those who created the phone numbers, the 024, 027, and 028, which Kasapa had the 028. So it was true, the frequent, actually, I actually we designed the first license, you know, gives uh, Millicom 01 and, and, and Seattle 02, and I put the Ghana coat of arms on it. <laughs> so when Mr. Jackson, you know, he rest in peace, he was then the, the frequency board, uh, you know, the guy secretary. So we got that fixed to place, you know, them. You know, so we began that journey. So as we moved on, you know, uh, the NCA or the regulatory body, one to let to the other, you know, was formed, you know, to regulate, you know, that uh, uh, industry, you know. Then another issue was the stock exchange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because people, there's something called put an exit. So if people have to invest, where would they exit? Mm -hmm. So. German called one Mr. Faridonko, the founder of Carl Bank. Uh, they were then a merchant bank. Mm -hmm. So most of this happened at a merchant bank. Yeah, you know, uh, Mrs. Baita, 
uh, I was always the, the, the only private person <laughs> in, <laughs> about the this, in the midst <laughs> and all the politics in Ghana. Yeah. I'm always the, the only private person. Yeah. Well, you know, in our network, providing just network. Casapa was focused on providing the superior CDM. And this is the beginning of one of Casapa's problems. They focused more on providing quality service for their clients while using end to end control model. They Madam, can I interest you in this all purpose time? And you need this too. They are the highest standard. This is the highest standard. Look at this is quality. Place. Madam, this is value for money. Madam, mark this girl. See, do you want to present? Madam, 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 Madam,
their license and eventually close them down. From a promising telecom startup, an industry pioneer, they said that Kasapa had to close down sadly. Well, recently, Mr. Kulujesin has disclosed in an interview that Celtel is bouncing back with some manufacturing projects. Let's see how that one will go. What do you think was Kasapa supposed to look at partnership with popular phone makers like Nokia, Motorola, LG? maybe iphone what do you think they should have done let me know in the comment section thanks for watching kindly don't forget to subscribe see ya